Farmers in Nakuru have begun adding value to the Junkau Napier grass fodder by making pellets. Now, the grass variety has recently taken the region by storm as livestock farmers search for better quality and high yielding pasture for their animals. Our very own Dennis Sotiano brings us more on this week's Smart Farm. It is feeding time for Sami Karaoke's livestock at his home in Lenginet area, located in Rongai, Nakuru County. The cows are feeding on the June cow grass, a high-yielding Chinese napier grass variety which Karaoke grows at a section of his farm. Of late, however, the former journalist and farmer started value-adding the grass by making pellets. So I had to make a decision. And uh, the first priority I had was to farm. Because I definitely knew that uh, farming at least could uh, at least take me somewhere. Karaoke is among the few farmers here contracted to grow the grass, which was introduced two years ago. It is commonly referred to as the Chinese magic grass and does well in a number of areas, including arid and semi-arid lands. Its roots can go deeper, up to two meters, so it can easily sustain itself in harsh climatic condition. Uh, previously in China, it was used to control desertification. Unlike the local napier grass, the magic grass has softer leaves and takes two to three months to mature. Cuttings, we call it the Junkao cuttings. These cuttings have two internals. You plant this uh, cutting at a spacing of between uh, 2.5 feet square between rows and columns. When you plant one cutting, within three months, it will sprout uh, from 10 branches up to 50 branches within one year. In a bid to maximize the grass and ensure adequate fodder for his livestock, Karaoke began experimenting with these pellets made from the Junkau grass. Value addition in this uh, uh, Junkau napier grass is also of paramount importance because you see like when now you va value add the same, you see now the, <coughs> the livestock will change their needs feeding habits. To make the grass pellets for his livestock, Karaoke makes a two-kilometer trip to this facility at Kampi Yamoto area. Here, a model farm exists with acres of land under the grass. The pellet making process starts by drying the grass, with 10% being the preferred moisture content. The grass is then chopped using a chopping machine. The crushed grass is then loaded onto the pellet mill, which mixes the grass and molds it into small pellets. The pelleting process involves a lot of friction, hence produces a lot of heat. They therefore need cooling in order to harden. After cooling, the farmer can put the pellets in bags for storage. Value addition is pokuwa niyo kutengeneza silage na hizo pellets. Na hakuna kitu I don't think kuna kitu ingine wanaongeza. But sasa unajua sasa ikisha tengenezo ikuwa into pellet. Consumption yake pia kwa mfugo pia inakuwa easy. So, hata ikiwa kwa silage unajua ikisha ganda. Unajua silage in terms of kuganda in a letter lander pia kwa ngombe. Currently, with the use of this jan cow, unaipea 4 to 5 kgs per day. Per day. Secondly, in terms of, in terms of uh, storage, storage sasa, in terms of storage, umesikia sasa hiyo ngombe inatumia per day uh, 4 to 5 kgs. Initially, nilikuwa natumia 25, uh, 20 to 25 kgs. So, ile chakula nilikuwa nikistock, kuseme kaa nimetengeneza store ya ngombe. Automatically, ile ya kwanza, itahitaji ita ni kuwe na store kubwa. Ya kupreserve hiyo chakula. Kwa sababu 25, 20 to 25 kgs yo kidogo. So, with this one, natumia... 4 to 5 kgs. We have pelletizers for making junkao pellets for fish and chicken and uh, even goats and cows. 
we have another machine that can use can be used to produce jinkao grass powder the powder can be used as uh, the chicken feeds a kilo of dried jinkao grass goes for 20 shillings while the pellets can be sold for as high as 100 shillings per kilo in kenya uh, we have a huge deficit of animal feeds so that's why our company saw that it's good to introduce a new variety of grass that is more high more yielding and it has more of the crude protein that's beneficial uh, for dairy farmers and uh, the human consumption in terms of mushroom production embracing alternative feed options such as this can help kenyan farmers overcome challenges of feed scarcity and high costs thus enhancing the health and productivity of their animals Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.